So this is going to be OSGI basics. We're going to take a look at, well, the OSGI basics. So throughout this module, throughout this chapter, we're going to get a good foundation of how does OSGI work and all of the different parts and components that make OSGI what it is. We're going to talk about the OSGI framework. We'll be talking about what are these things called bundles? How do components and services play a role into making OSGI what it is? And then finally, how do we share features amongst our different bundles that we're going to be creating? So throughout the module, these are going to be the topics that we're going to be covering right now. This is just going to be the introduction. We'll take a look at basic concepts. What are bundles? What are components and services? How do we share features amongst these different bundles? Um, what is the OSGI framework architecture? So what's kind of inside of OSGI? What are the different parts that make it work? And then finally, the benefits of OSGI. Uh, throughout the modules, we're going to take a look at a few exercises as well to really solidify the idea. So let's go ahead and start off with an introduction of kind of what is OSGI. Let's talk about first, what does OSGI even stand for? So OSGI stands for Open Service Gateway Initiative. That might not mean a lot, but basically what OSGI does for us is it provides a modular framework for us to develop within the Java world. Uh, OSGI was established by the OSGI Alliance way back in 1999. So it's its 20 year anniversary this year, 2019. Uh, it started off with its first release of um, its standard, the release, uh, the R1, which was published back in May of 2000. OSGI has been adopted by a number of different foundations, companies, and projects. <laughs> foundations such as the Apache Foundation, the Eclipse Foundation, and a few others. Let's take a look and see some of the logos or some of the companies that are using OSGI. Obviously, Liferay is using it, otherwise we wouldn't even be talking about it. Uh, I wouldn't be talking to you about OSGI. Uh, Eclipse uses OSGI, uh, Oracle's WebLogic, and a couple of other companies here that you can see. So we talk about OSGI because OSGI is sort of the foundation of LifeRay development. Since LifeRay 7.0, we've taken a modular approach to the development of our applications and to LifeRay itself. In doing so, we have adopted OSGI as the platform that we're using for modular development. So in order to develop well in the LifeRay world, we're gonna need to know OSGI at the end of the day. So that wraps it up for this video, and I will see you in the next video.